if you already know the f uh, formula for the normal component of acceleration and you know the speed then uh, we can find curvature using the formula that's there so we want to uh, take this position function r get velocity by taking its derivative we get negative sine t plus sine t plus t cosine t and then for the j component we get cosine t minus cosine t plus t sine t these parts cancel out so your velocity is t cos t t sine t uh, the j component is zero acceleration is back to the formula cos t minus t sine t sine t plus t cos t if you're gonna do a cross product between these guys you have to uh, make it a three uh, this, these are i and j so what you do is you put uh, k uh, being zero so velocity cross acceleration be um, t cosine t t sine t zero cosine t minus t sine t sine t plus t cos t and zero and so And so what happens is the i component is zero, the j component is zero, because of the way these two zeros are here. But the k component is not zero. The k component is uh, t cos t sine t minus t squared cosine squared all of that, I'm sorry, plus that, all of that minus t cos t sine t uh, let's put the minus here, t squared sine squared so what happens is the t cos t sine t cancels out and cosine squared plus sine squared so it turns out that you get zero i and j and t squared for k that's v cross a The mag of v cross a is just t squared. Uh, the mag of v is also uh, t squared cosine squared, t squared sine squared. So it's the square root of t squared because you get cosine squared plus sine squared so we just get t and so the normal component acceleration 
is t squared over t. And so we just get t. The mag of velocity is t. So according to the formula, the normal component of acceleration is equal to curvature times mag of velocity squared. So curvature can be found by taking the normal component of acceleration and dividing it by mag of velocity squared. And that's how we get 1 over t. That's the curvature. And um, the radius of curvature. Uh, the radius of curvature, the circle of curvature, would be uh, the reciprocal of that, which would just be t. Because 1 over curvature is the radius of curvature.